Matrix A reduces to the given matrix in row echelon form. How many vectors are there in the basis of the column space of A and the null space of A? The pivot columns or dependent columns of the original matrix A form a basis for the column space of A. To find the pivot columns or independent columns, we solve A times vector X equals the zero vector. The basis will be the corresponding column vectors from the original matrix A, which means number of pivot columns or independent columns indicate how many vectors are in the basis of the column space of A. Looking at the matrix A in row echelon form, we have a pivot in row one, column one, row two, column two, and row three, column three. This indicates the pivot columns are column one, column two, and column three, or that column one, column two, and column three are independent columns. Because we have three pivot columns or three independent columns, we know there are three vectors in the basis of the column space of A. This also indicates that the variables x sub one, x sub two, and x sub three are the basic variables. Now if we did want to find the vectors that form the basis for the column space of A, we would have to go back to the original matrix A and column one, column two, and column three would give us the vectors that form the basis for the column space of A. To find a basis for the null space of A, we again solve the equation A times vector X equals a zero vector. The vectors in the spanning set of the solution form a basis for the null space, which means the number of free variables will indicate how many vectors are in the basis of the null space of A. So because we don't have a pivot in the fourth column, we know there is one free variable, x sub four is a free variable. And we also know x sub four is a free variable because x sub one, x sub two, and x sub three are the basic variables. So because we have one free variable, there is one vector in the basis of the null space of A. This should make sense because if we have a total of four columns, three of which are pivot columns, or three of which are independent, four minus three is equal to one, leaving one column that doesn't have a pivot, leading to one free variable, and therefore one vector in the basis of the null space of A. Let's take a look at a second example. Again, matrix A is given in row echelon form. We're asked how many vectors are there in the basis of the column space of A and the null space of A. We have a pivot in row one, column one, and row two, column three, indicating column one and column three are pivot columns or column one and column three are independent. Because we have two pivot columns or because we have two independent columns, there are two vectors in the basis of the column space of A. This also indicates that x sub one and x sub three are the basic variables. To find the number of vectors in the basis of the null space of A, we determine the number of free variables because we don't have a pivot in column two or column four we have two free variables, which are x sub two and x sub four. Because we have two free variables, there are two vectors in the basis of the null space of A. And this should make sense because we have a total of four columns, two of which are independent or two of which are pivot columns. Four minus two is two, giving us two free variables or two columns without a pivot. I hope you found this helpful.